prayers and calls for justice tonight. Friends and family of a little Compton boy held a vigil demanding the arrest of a man who gunned him down. KCAL 9's Tom Waite is live in downtown LA tonight with the family's very emotional appeal. Tom. And Elsa and Jeff, as you can imagine, this family is heartbroken. This was gang violence, a shootout that claimed the life of this little boy. One man is under arrest, but the family says another man also needs to be locked up. Another makeshift shrine for a child caught in the middle of gang violence. Three-year-old Franklin Ponros was shot and killed in this liquor store parking lot Saturday night in Compton when two men opened fire on each other. Richard Ross is the boy's father. I'm hurt. You know, this is my only child that I have. And they took, they took him away from me. The shooting played out on security video. Detectives say the man you see getting into his car is 29-year-old Dwayne Ward. Police say he fired the shot that killed little Franklin. He has since turned himself in. But the family of the child says this man should also be charged. You'll see him walk to the car where Franklin is sitting in the back seat. He spins around. The question is, did he fire his gun? Ward, you'll see clearly, starts shooting from his car. One of those bullets takes Franklin. Franklin's life. Ward claims he was defending himself and the family believes him. You started the uh, shooting, so I don't understand why you're not in, you know, not behind bars. LA County Sheriff's detectives say they're still trying to determine who started shooting first, but at this point there are no outstanding suspects, though that could change when the case is presented to prosecutors. Franklin. While the legal issues are being sorted out, a family is left with the searing pain of losing this three-year-old who was so full of life. Just a three-year-old, just, just daddy only, you know, he just want to be with mommy and daddy. This boy meant everything to us. Every child means everything to everybody, you know, so it's hard. And sheriff's investigators say a big key to this case is witnesses. They're still trying to find people who may have seen what happened.